everyone, my name's Lucy, I work for Aim Higher Plus and today I'm going to be talking about post 16 options. So the options you have after year 11 and specifically we're going to look at the differences between sick form and college. So if you're in year 10 or year 11 and you're not too sure about what to do after year 11, this video will help you look at all the options available to you and which one is right for you. Okay, so firstly, what are post-16 options? So legally, we need to be in education until we're 18. So we have some different options that we can do after year 11. The first one is apprenticeships, the second one is college, and the third one is sixth form. So with apprenticeships, this is where you would work for an employer maybe four days a week, and then you'd go into college or sixth form for the last day and do some schoolwork. So you're earning and learning. For more information on apprenticeships, we have a short video and lots of different resources. So check those out on the Aim Higher Plus page if you are interested in apprenticeships. So the other two options are sick form and college and we're going to look at the differences between the two because it's these differences that will help you decide which one is right for you. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is size. So sick forms tend to be a bit smaller, they tend to be part of a school. Um, if your school has a sick form it can be a benefit going there because you'll know the building, you'll know the teachers, you'll know the people, so you'll have less of a transition phase. However. Um, it might be that you want to move and you want to get out of the school-like feel. College uh, is much bigger and has loads of different people. You'll meet new teachers, you'll meet new people from all over the area. Um, and so that can either be a pro or a con, depending on whether you want a big change or whether you're quite comfortable in the school environment. The second thing I'm going to talk about is support. Now, I'm not talking about pastoral support because both sick form and college have really good pastoral support. What I am going to talk a bit more about is sort of the academic support. So at sixth form, you'll potentially have a little bit more support. You'll have teachers who are trying to get um, the best out of you and trying to get you to do your work on time and get your homework in and all these different things. With college, you have much more independence. So you might be able to have free periods where you go out and do your own thing. Now, this can be great if you want more independence and you're quite self-motivated. However, if you're honest with yourself and you think, okay, well, if left to my own devices, I don't actually do that much work, then maybe college isn't the right choice because at college you'll have loads and loads of independence. And it means that if you're self-motivated, then you'll get the work done. And if not, this could be a bit of an issue and sick form might be better for you to have that extra support from teachers. So again, it's the sort of way you learn and how you feel about that that will decide whether sixth form or college is better for you. At sixth form, everybody is the same age. So everyone will be 17, 18, maybe 19. However, at college, you'll be working with people who are all ages over the age of 16. So you could be working with 17, 18 year olds, but also there might be 30 year olds, 40 year olds, 50 year olds who have come back to college to retrain or whatever their reasons are. So that's another thing to consider. At sixth form, everybody's the same age. At college, everyone will be a different age and there'll be a much wider variety of people from a larger area. Another difference is what you wear. So at sixth form, a lot of sixth forms are different. So some might have a business attire, some might have a uniform, other sixth forms might have their own clothes. However, with college, it's usually your own clothes and it has a bit more of a, a less school-like feel and a bit more of a university-like feel. The last thing I'm going to talk about differences is the qualifications. So at sixth form, they have a strong focus on A-levels and maybe some BTECs. At college, there's a real mix of A-levels, BTECs and vocational courses. So let's look a bit more in detail about the qualifications. So one of the benefits of college is that because it has such a strong um, focus on vocational courses, it has the facilities to help with that. So if you, for example, wanted to study hair and beauty, then the college will have maybe a hair salon that you can work in, whereas a sixth form wouldn't. So that's one of the benefits of doing vocational courses at college. Okay, so let's have a look at the differences between A-levels and BTECs. With A-levels, you're working at level three. So for example, at GCSEs, we're at level two, so we wanna be at level three post 16. With BTECs, these range from levels one to three. Uh, for example, sometimes you might need to do level two before you do a level three and things like that. A-levels are exam and coursework based, and this depends on the subject. So if you're studying math, this is gonna be more exam based, and if you're studying English, this is gonna be more coursework based. BTECs are predominantly coursework. There are a couple of exams in there, but it is predominantly coursework. So have a think about how best you work are you best when it comes to coursework or are you better with exams or do you like a mix of the two? With A-levels you tend to get a deeper understanding of the subject, you go into real depth so if you are really passionate about 
geography then if you take a geography a level you'll get to learn so much more about the subject and that can be great if you're really passionate about that subject with btex um you have an option to try something a bit more practical so if you're a bit more hands-on a btech might be better for you the other thing with a levels is that you may have more free periods which can be useful because you'll need time to sort of study and revise and things like that and with btex there might be work placements involved so that's again something to consider um, depending on your preference Okay, so we've had a look at the differences between sixth form and college, and we've also had a look at the differences between A-levels and BTECs, and hopefully based off that information, you will now be able to make a bit more of an informed decision about what you want to do after year 11. Couple of notes, most colleges and sixth forms, you'll need at least five GCSEs at grade four or above for like a level three course. And for some A-level courses, you'll need a minimum of a grade six in that subject to study it. For example, if I wanted to do history A-level at sixth form, then um, I'd need a grade six in my history GCSE. GCSE. However, all sixth forms and colleges are different, so check out their websites, check out their requirements, each one will be different, and I wish you all the best with your applications um, for sixth form or college or for an apprenticeship. So last thing from me, if you have any questions about this topic, if you have any questions about sixth form, A-levels, BTEX, college, apprenticeships, you can find us on the Access platform where you can speak to a member of AIM Higher Plus staff and ask them any questions you have about this topic. You can find this link, it'll either be on the email that's attached to this video link or it'll be in the description box if, it's, if you're watching this on YouTube. So um, get in touch, ask us any questions and I wish you all the best with uh, what you choose to do after year 11. Thanks for listening, see you later, bye!